Where was the Lord sleeping? What is the stern of a boat? Where the rudder is. So where was he sleeping? Over the rudder. Rudder of a sheep. What does it mean? He is in control of the boat. Does God sleep? But he slept. He doesn't sleep nor slumber. Do mothers sleep? No. What is the difference between mothers sleeping and fathers sleeping when there is an infant? <laughs> Let us listen to mothers. We, I am very conscious. Yes. Was he conscious? No. They will snore and sleep. <laughs> yes, because you are concerned. Yes. Even if he sleeps, he is awake. Do you know he is at the stern? At the stern of the ship, boat, your life. It's, the spirit is not written unnecessarily. It's important. What was the intention of the Lord? Let us go to the other side. Let us go to the other side. What is the other side for you? Don't answer. Think. What's the other side for you? Other side is always green. That side? The life after Elaris. Okay, life after Elaris. <laughs> yes, other side. What is the other side for you? Each word can speak. You are citizens of heaven, so generous on earth. Which is the other side? Which is the other side for you? Let us go to the other side. If you do not belong to the world, which side you will go? Are you living there? Sojourners, pilgrims on this side. Is that clear in your mind? Are you reminding yourself that? Or only Jim Reeves sing, sings that? <laughs> you are taken out of the world, but you are sent into the world, but you do not belong to the world. Now always remember I belong to the other side. So, while we walk here as sojourners, Paul says in Colossians 3, 1 and 2, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. Now, what is your usual conversation? While you sit for breakfast, lunch, or outside, what's your conversation? Is it the other side or this side? What are you preoccupied with? He says, set your mind on things above. Keep it set there. But also, Paul writes, that chapter of Philippians, 18 and 19. For as I have often told you before, and now say again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction, their God is their stomach, and their glory is in their shame. Their mind is on earthly things. Their mind is on earthly things. Where is our mindset? other than meditation time, other than some prayer time. Any answer, where is your mindset? If you want to understand further, 
First John chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. They are of the world, therefore they speak as of the world, and the world hears them. We are of God, he who knows God hears us, he who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So, how do you distinguish what spirit is operating in us? How? What is the test? You read it. What is the test? What is the viewpoint of your conversation, reference point of your conversation? What is the reference point always? Things of the world. What spirit is operating? Antichrist, spirit of Antichrist. But we say we are filled with the spirit of God also. <laughs> what is this? If you begin to speak of the spirit of, of things of God, people become uncomfortable. They say you are an odd person. That's what you said, many of you said. Why does it become normal for us? Why is not normal? What is the conversation? By this you will distinguish. Testing the spirits. When the cross is mentioned, Peter said it shall not happen. He said, this is from the devil. Paul writes in Galatians 6.14, But far be it from me, to boast, except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. From morning till evening, what do we boast in? What do you boast in? What do you talk about and refer to it frequently? Your achievements, sometimes your wealth, your position in the society, how your children are doing. Go on talking about it. Maybe it's the mark you scored, things you have achieved, the number of people who came for the meeting. Somewhere it's all achievement. What does the word say? Boast not in anything else except in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. That person, if he is boasting, something has happened for him also. The world is crucified to him. When you go to the world, the world is crucified. When the world comes to you, it finds you dead also. So there is no reference of world in that person. A dead person, he goes through the world. The enemies of the cross of Christ, their mind is set on the worldly things. And their appetite, their stomach is their God means, fulfilling their appetite is their goal. It's not only really eating, fulfilling the desires of the heart, appetites. Lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. And what do they boast in? What is abomination to God? What is abomination they boast in? So, to which side we belong? Other side or this side? Sanctified. Maybe there is, sometimes it is necessary, it is needful, you go and handle things of the world. But, where is your mindset? The bee goes out up to 30, 35 kilometers, but it will come back to the home. There may be 100 beehives, but it will come to its beehive. Home instinct, they call it. It says about Abraham, while living in the promised land, they live as aliens. 
Even promised land was not their hope. Read that in 11th chapter of Hebrews, 9th verse. By faith he dwelt in the land of promise as in a foreign country. Ah, promised land was not their place. Promised land also was only for the time being. If God enabled you to work in a place, soon that workplace becomes your home. Do you know that? That's not. Sometimes you take hold of that and then it takes hold of you. You are not able to leave it at all. Attachments. Attachments.